Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be diving into the world of WooCommerce and showing you how to remove the free shipping option on your online store, whether you're looking to adjust your shipping settings or offer alternative options, we've got you covered. So let's dive right into it and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial set with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to the URL section. Simply type WooCommerce. WooCommerce. And sorry. WooCommerce. And hit the enter button. As you can see here, you'll have to go and click on the first link. And if you have an account, make sure to go and click on login into your account here and enter your credentials to login into your account. If you don't have an account, you'll have to go and create an account for yourself. And as you can see, for me, I will just log in into my account with my WordPress here. Of course, you can go and do your same, the same if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating uh, your account or even logging into your account. You can do the same. You can even use Google or something like that. So if you have an account, log into it. If you don't, you can go and create your own. It's going to be the same like with Google and WordPress. So you don't have to go through, through all the boring steps. Once you do so, make sure to go and access the WooCommerce settings. So the first step on your WooCommerce admin dashboard, this example, if you are in your admin dashboard, you'll have to go to your settings uh, of your store. So here, if I click my, on my stores for me, as you can see, I will find like one store here. And if I click on manage store, so I don't know, maybe they have a problem at the moment. So let me just go and go into my local host of WordPress. Maybe there is a problem there. Anyway, we can click, we can still go and click here, view store from here. Okay, yeah, they have a problem at the moment, but it's not going to be a big deal. So simply you'll have to go and access the settings. And once you access the settings of your WooCommerce account, you'll have to go and navigate to the shipping uh, settings. Of course, once you do so, you will find uh, or take a look at the left sidebar. You will find the left si sidebar there. And of course, you will see a tab called WooCommerce. Once you click on it, you will find the settings drop down menu option and click on it. You will be able to configure the shipping from there and a lot of other stuff. So let me just go and try here. And this is here. I'll find my local host. Let me just get into the WordPress also. Anyway, so you will find like the shipping address there or shipping option. So in the sh settings page on the shipping address, you will uh, you'll notice several tabs. We are interested in the one labeled shipping. Click on it to access the shipping settings. And of course, under the shipping zones section, you will find like a list of zones configured on your store. These zones represent different geographical areas where you ship your products, identify the zone for which you want to remove the free shipping option. And of course, now that you identify as an example, the zone that you want, you can locate the shipping method that's provided like the shipping, uh, the free shipping within that zone. It's usually labeled free shipping or something similar. So look for an edit link or button next to it and simply click on it. And then in the settings of the free shipping method, you will sh or you should see an option related to enabling or offering free shipping. This option allows you to control whether you, uh, you are going to uh, uh, give the free shipping or the free shipping is available or not for the selected zone. To remove it, of course, simply uncheck or disable the option and you will be good to go. Of course, so once you're disabled the free shipping, before, of course, wrapping up everything, uh, don't forget to save your changes. You can scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on Save Changes button to apply your modifications. And then you will have to go and test everything if it's working. You can go and access another browser example or simply access your store. And go to... Uh, uh, you can use even VPN to be in this area that you uh, remove this uh, shipping on it. Or if you remove the sh free shipping... Uh, for everyone, you can go and check for your products if they offer the free shipping now or not. If they offer, that's gonna be bad. You'll have to go and check it again. If they did not, congratulations, you have did what you have to do normally. So let me just check here in my WordPress. And yeah, I have my WooCommerce here. Uh, I don't know where my store goes. So let's just start a new store. Why not? Let's just go and give them some information here. Uh, why not? 
here is going to be something like that gmail.com you can go of course and even add like the where we are at and of course like maybe downloads um lots no i'm just going to random the or to get this random of course for you make sure to go and enter everything uh, normally and here as you can see yeah you will have to go and pay to get to your store so it's not going to be a big problem so for you once you get to your store you'll have to go and do what i said just leave items here and yeah back back so this is not going to be a big problem as i said you'll have to go into your uh store in woocommerce access the settings once you access the settings you'll have you'll find the left panel there click on the settings once you click on the settings you'll find the ship in settings there click on it and then you will find like the option or you'll be able to edit your ship in settings and you will find like an option shipping zones go to that zone and disable or uh, and check any option that's uh, called free shipping and then make sure to save the settings uh, scroll down uh, the, to the bottom of the page and save any settings that you have changed as an example then of course finally you'll have to go and access to your store uh, with another browser or with your phone or something like that and check if the free shipping is removed if it's not of course you'll have to as an example go and contact the support if you're still having a problem it's not uh, that bad they can even guide you if it's not working like if you have a problem a problem in your account uh, or something like that of course they can guide you through it so you can go or you can feel free to go and do it by your own for this example if you're like still stuck you can simply go to this uh, find woo experts and click on it and of course this expert will help you with anything that you want not this shipping address uh, only they will help you with a lot of other stuff that you can find all the services here you can go and navigate through all of them and check whatever you want or you like check for the price that you want also and if you like someone you can simply go and contact them to hire them for your store to do everything you uh, you want if you don't want of course to do it manually and get through this uh, the steps and annoying steps so I guess it's pretty simple. So if you reach this point of this video, congratulations. You successfully removed the free shipping option on your WooCommerce stop. As I said, just make sure to test everything before you before you make your changes. And of course, that's wrapped our tutorial. So on how to remove the free shipping on WooCommerce using the old methods. So we hope you found this video helpful in customizing your shipping settings and providing alternative options for your customers if you have any further questions you can always go and contact their support and of course uh, thank you for watching if you like this video make sure to leave a like down below and, and subscribe for our channels for more helpful tutorials like this one and i will see you in the next video